This morning we are hearing from a doctor at Rady Children's Hospital addressing some common questions from parents regarding masks. It comes as one local community is pushing a new plan today to make sure their kids are safe. News 8's Evan Arani, we're checking in live in National City with a closer look. Good morning, Evan. Good morning, Stella and Eric. That's right. Coming up uh, this morning, just around 730, we'll be here with the mayor of National City, Alejandra Sotelo Solis. She'll be here along with district leaders who are going to be handing out masks to students, five masks per student, in order to emphasize that as kids head back into the classroom, every student in National City will have masks available to them as they do so. And of course, this is the continuous push as the state of California requires that all K through 12 schools have mask guidelines in place as they head indoors. However, they're leaving that enforcement up to each district itself. A doctor with Rady Children's Hospital says that it is especially important that kids are wearing those masks and that anyone over the age of 12 years old or 12 and over gets vaccinated, especially with the spread of the Delta variant. But at school, yes, they need to wear masks. If they're in settings, indoor settings, around other people, they need to wear masks. If they're playing in a park or in their backyard, they don't really need to wear masks and they don't need to wear masks in their household. So let's run through some of the confusion that people have had. Right now, kids 12 and over can get vaccinated. However, the percentage of teens fully vaccinated as school starts, again, is much lower than the percentage of adults, meaning that the push continues, including here in National City, to get more teens vaccinated. For those under the age of 12, clinical trials have started. Dr. Mark Sawyer, who you just heard from there, says that the next group of people eligible will be those between 5 and 11 years old since authorization is, once authorization is given by by the FDA. Now, Pfizer has said they'll ask for authorization for that age group as early as next month. Some parents have expressed confusion and opposition to mask guidelines in K through 12 schools. So to clarify, the California Department of Public Health requires that masks are worn in all K through 12 schools while students are indoors. They recently updated their guidelines to allow individual districts to decide how they'll enforce that mask requirement. Now, uh, the group Let Them Breathe has filed a lawsuit against the state of of California saying that it is uh, it should not be a requirement that kids have to wear masks in schools and that it should be instead left up to the parents as opposed to the school district or the state of California. Health experts emphasize that the reason why kids are able to attend school in their full capacity is because masks, since those masks work, and that those masks are safe for students to be wearing. Outside of National City Middle School, I'm Evan Narani, News 8.